Hello everyone and welcome back to my son's teenage bedroom makeover. This is part two of the makeover and if you saw part one you will see that we did lots of the painting and lots of the preparation work and um, so this is the next stage. In this video I'm sharing lots of the paint work that I did um, to his room but also um, an Ikea haul um, so I went and bought lots of bits that I needed um, for his bedroom. I actually bought them before the lockdown, but I wanted to include that footage so you could see what I bought from Ikea. <laughs> So today we went to Ikea and we managed to get some more of the bits that we need um, for Ollie's room. We had a lovely day out, didn't we Emily? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we had lunch out and it was all really yummy. So we are going to show you some of the things that we bought for Ollie's room before I get on and install it. So first, what have we got? We've got two of these um, cushion inners that are going to go on his bed and they are the really large ones. Um, 65 by 65 and I'm going to make some cushion covers to go with those and then this is quite heavy but these are two what table two? legs and these are going to be for what? Ollie's desk yeah don't hit mommy with them um, and they're going to be for Ollie's desk so I'm going to renovate his desk and put those table legs on now what are you sitting on Emily? I'm sitting on a big carpet yeah we've got a rug for Ollie and it is the twist it around Stowen's um, rug and it's the 170 by 240 so it's really large and um, but it felt really soft in the shop didn't it so and um, we thought we'd get those right don't try and lift that we also got ollie a new desk chair because his chair's broken in his room and it is called oh, it's upside down but it's called flinton and it's black um and it was 55 pounds um and, and it was comfortable wasn't it when we sat on it, it was so, lovely. yeah so and then over here We've got uh, four, four of, of these, these drawers to, to, to store all these storage in these great yeah. boxes. So it is these storage boxes that are go, going to go on his top shelf um, to get that really, really tidy. Careful, 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 careful. So what's this? A We've mirror. got a mirror and that is going to go on the inside um, of Ollie's new, well not new, but fairly new wardrobes that we built. <laughs> so, do you want to pop that? I'm just lean that one up against the sofa. Um, and then the last thing is the another one um, of those cushions that's going to go on his bed. Okay, so there we go. Next job is to get all of that fitted in Ollie's room. <laughs> So I just wanted to share the paint with you for the black cupboards, as you can see behind me. Um, I actually went for um, Farrer and Ball railings, which I think and that is in the estate eggshell. And I think that that was a really brave choice for me because I normally go for whites and greys, off-whites. Um, and so picking a black was quite brave, but actually the colours in it are really beautiful. It's black but in different lights it's got a little bit of a blue undertone and I like cool colours so actually I think it's really really beautiful but as I say very very brave for me to choose that colour. So I need um, to paint this really long shelf um, and I've decided that rather than the flower and ball paint I'm gonna paint them with this deco style chalk paint in charcoal and I picked this up from Aldi so I'm going to give it two coats onto this MDF that I've had cut and that's going to be for the shelf um, in Ollie's room. So I'm going to see how this paint turns out.
a couple of days later. We've been doing um, quite a bit more work to it, so I'm just going to show you what we've been doing. So this um, chest of drawers still um, needs some work done to it. The wardrobes, they're almost done. I've got a tiny bit more painting to do up here, and then the handles need to go on, but I'm very pleased with the way um, that they have turned out. Um, in this area, this has all been painted. The desk still needs to be painted, so that's a job to be done. Um, we've now got the new curtains up, which I'm pleased with, but I have got some tie backs, um, which will just, they're literally a piece of metal that you use to just hold um, the curtains back. They do puddle on the floor a little bit, but I actually don't mind that. Um, I think they're fine so and again I mean I they've got eyelets on the top and to be honest I wouldn't have chosen those um, for ourselves but it's a teenager's room and you know he had to have some sort of say in what he wanted we have installed the high shelf now um, I haven't got the boxes yet so these are the bo the IKEA boxes um, so all of this most of this will probably fit into one or two boxes so they will then look really neat um, on the shelf this wall um, is now done i have found a bed for him so i'm going to actually sell this um, single bed frame and then there's going to be a double bed um, in here and at the moment his um, little bedside table is gone i'm going to paint that um, I've still got the floor to do. I've bought um, the varnish. It's going to be a kind of darker oak um, colour. So I will need to gently sand um, this surface um, and varnish the floor. Oh, and there's still the door to do. There, that needs sanding um, and painting. But we have made a huge amount of progress in here. Right, so this is the desk. And my thinking is, I've taken the drawers out. My thinking is that... I'm going to keep this bit as it is and paint it. I'm going to change the feet. It's got bun feet like the um, bedside table that I did recently. Um, I'm thinking that if I take this piece off, I'm then going to change the legs. So that is the grand plan. Right, so this was the original feet that I took off. Look dusty um, and I have made some new feet out of some scrap pine that I had um, in the garage and I've inserted dowel screws into each one if you are wondering how I did this then I used exactly the same method as I used in my bedside table makeover video so check that out and you can see how I made these feet so there we go I have got the little the new little feet now fixed into the bottom of the drawer section. Um, now I'm going to add the two um, legs, the two legs that I got from Ikea, um, which are these black legs that are going to go on this side of the table. final reveal of my son's bedroom makeover.
If you are interested, then I will put details of all the paints that are used um, down below in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the transformation that we've made in his bedroom. It's made a huge change. Um, it's such a lovely room to go into now. So really, we really appreciate the change. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe. I love making videos like this, but also about organizing and other DIY jobs that I like to do in the home to make my life more organized. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.